Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Mom, and it's a beautiful day. Our God has completely taken care of this day before we got here. He's not trying to figure out how to bless us, He's already concluded on that. All we need to do is to align with His divine agenda for our lives, and the glory of God will be revealed in our lives. He loves us so much and he wants to bless us beyond our imagination you know when we study the word of god we equip ourselves with divine weapons divine tools that empower us against the forces and the powers of darkness you don't need to look too far to know that there are all kinds of forces and powers at work trying to gain control over one's life over circumstances and situation but you see when your life is under the influence and the control of the Spirit of God something beautiful happens to you things don't just happen to you they have to go in line with God's agenda for your life and that's the reason why we've been studying the scripture and we've been looking at 2nd Thessalonians chapter number 2 talking about the last days as you know as prophesied in the scripture in the book of Daniel and we've been going forth back and forth Daniel and the book of Thessalonians and we've seen that what the prophet Daniel talked about what Jesus talked about Paul was talking about and it has to do with a future event that we are likely the generation walking in it walking into it because the signs are very clear yesterday we were looking at the fact that you know the, the lawless man, I mean the man of lawlessness is going to be made manifest and he's, he's, he's the one that is called the Antichrist. But you know, the end of that man is amazing. The appearing of Jesus. Wow! The glory of God will just make him, I mean, completely powerless and defeated. Jesus is just going to appear according to Second Thessalonians chapter number 2. It says from verse number 8 it says and then the lawless lawless one the antichrist will be revealed and the lord jesus will slay him now take note of how he will slay him we slay him with the breath of his mouth hallelujah and bring him to an end by his appearing at his coming oh what a wonderful savior what a wonderful jesus what a powerful lord we have and verse number nine goes on to tell us more now I want you to pay attention to what the scripture says not some funny opinions since the coming of the lawless one the Antichrist is through the activity and walking of Satan and will be attended by great power and with all sort of pretended miracles and signs and do receive marvels all of them lying wonders you know people who are easily carried by wonders by miracles signs are going to be easy prey they are going to fall prey because they believe the spectacular above the supernatural 
they are not the same. Yes, the supernatural can be spectacular sometimes, but the supernatural is supernatural and may not necessarily be spectacular. Spectacular is like the abracadabra thing. You know, the more you see, the more you look, the less you see. But you see, the, the, the supernatural is that which, when you pay attention, your understanding becomes more fruitful. Your eyes, the eyes of your understanding is enlightened. It's not that the more you look, the less you see. You comprehend more. Your understanding becomes fruitful in the sense that your fellowship gets deepened and you walk into that place where nothing spectacular may be happening but something extraordinary will happen. The enemy is going to use to receive marvel. He is going to use miracles. The Bible calls it pretended miracles and signs. And he calls all of these lying wonders. But we know the one who has all power in his hands. And he is the one when he heals, he heals. He raises the dead and he set the captives free. His name is Jesus. He's the only one who died on the cross, was buried, but he didn't stay in the grave. He resurrected from the grave and came with all power in his hands. And he said, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. He's the one that we even sentence the evil one by his appearing. What a glory. And if we have him in our lives, our lives are not going to be sheep, ordinary. We must Go for that which is the real thing. That in Jesus working in us, the world may see the true glory of God. So if you've not had this experience I'm talking about, you need to. It is not just saying some words. It's having an encounter with Jesus. You need to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. And your life will never be the same again. Till I come your way again, I'm eager. Louis, God bless you. Thank you.